Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Osibanjo, government alone cannot provide people's economic need. That is the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, amidst all that is going on, uh, the most important thing to our uh, Vice President now is regards to the economy. You know, he's not uh, including himself in all the drama going on in the north is not saying anything within security situation of the country as a matter of fact the president has assigned him job to do the president has told him you may go and look for what will happen at the economic and you know has kept him busy let's understand all that is going on the vice president of the country professor yemi osibanjo yesterday appealed to well-meaning citizens to adopt developmental programs to project for their various committees aimed acute infrastructures facing the country and ensure that their people are looked after. Osiban also noted that government alone cannot meet the social and economic needs of the people. Hence, the need for individuals and corporate intent intensive organization to address infrastructural deficits in communities. He made a call as the first annual general meeting of Remy Growth and Development Foundation, head at the Foundation Secretariat in the Remy Ogon State. He particularly commended personalities in two in his Remy native community of Ogon State while urging others to emulate them. He said they had, ex they had excellence in bringing economic prosperity in the grassroots. Osiba and Joe addressed the meeting through Zoom video conference. Through Do was physically represented by in the occasion by senior special assistant on monitoring and evaluation, Babatunde Obamo. On his address, the vice president explained it is glary that the government alone cannot meet the social economic needs of the people. Hence, the need for collaborative effect towards the gifted individuals to come on board. Commending on fresh developmental initiative in Remland, Osiban just said it was important for the locals to take full advantage of Ogun State's location between Lagos and Oyo State and labs in development. This tax is not for the government alone, but also that every citizen of the country to contribute in achieving our dream in their text context group like the Remy group come in handy. I congratulate the Remy for empowering the youth as empowering them as key of our future possibilities. I salute the people, the monarch, and the land for establishing the cooperation, the council for the leadership and the clear vision for the development of the state. The vice president applauded, commending the vice president, Paramount ruler of the Remy land and the Oba, Ab, Oba Babatunde, Babatunji Ajayi called for a constitutional effort in ensuring that this all development and growth of the economy do not just end in Ogun states but spread to other parts of the country. He, however, built on the subject to ensure that vision of the group is not derailed and everyone should ensure safety for the people of their region. That's what the vice president has to say. Everyone ensure safety for the people of your region. Taking a cue from Osibanjo, he also urged them to take full advantage of the strategic location of the state, which is close to Lagos, a commercial centre of the country, and hardiness of the possibilities towards improving the economic foundation of the land of Ogun State and ensure that everyone comes on board to ensure growth and development. He further explained that the people need to work together as one and that the vision why this community was set together should not be derailed at any point, but that everyone must keep the vision 
in front of them always to ensure economic growth and prosperity and what it all stands for so that the place can be a safe heaven. He also lamented with regards to the situation of insecurity in the country that we all need to get on board with it and ensure that people in our area are safe. He added that the group also should not forget all that, is, that has happened during the lockdown and ensure that we comply to the health regulations for people to be more safe during the time of this COVID and the pandemic. So Sibanjo has uh, made a statement that um, economy alone, the government alone cannot do anything, you know, to 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 you know to save the people the people everybody needs to get on board with regards to uh, uh keeping safe of the people of the country everybody needs to get on board everybody needs to make sure that you know the country is safe you know and that and you know development should continue everybody must make sure that you know development becomes a thing that we all appreciate and we make sure that um, our people and our everyone around us are safe you know, this is uh, Osiba and Joe's advice and saying that the, the people should keep on keeping, you know, uh, progress of what they want to do must be always at their eyes and they must continue to ensure, you know, that uh, the, 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 the purpose why this is, why they formed this group, the, the vision is not the real, but that eyes, you know, are, is kept on the vision so that they can ensure safety, so that they can ensure that they, you know, they get to the end of it. But the most important thing here for me is I don't understand why the vice president of the country is not saying anything with regards to all that is going on currently now in the country. For me, I expect that the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, should be able to speak. And um, I know that is also, to the large extent, Osibanjo is also a victim, just like you and I, to be very candid. Professor Yemi Osibanjo is a victim if he says something or he tries to advise and he feels threatened, guess what? He'll be labored to say that he wants to overthrow the president. He can be labored for treasoning. They can, they can decide to, to plan a coup on him, uh, say that, um, you know, and impeach him. Or, you know, it could, be, it could become very messy. But again, there are ways around it. If he has evidence beyond all reasonable doubts to prove to Nigerians and to the world as he is, is the vice president of the country. Uh, the U.S. will listen to him. The U.K. will listen to him. European Union will listen to him. The international community will listen to Professor Emil Sibanjo. Why? As a result of his position. They might not listen to just any common man who is trying to make a point. But if he goes and says, this is going on in Nigeria, we have done this, we have done that, proof beyond a reasonable doubt, and this is not happening. This is what I think we should do. I think somebody somewhere will listen. Guys, leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Bye for now.